I was maybe 11 years old when I found porn on our computer at home. Uh, the truth was I wasn't even looking for it. I didn't know that it really existed, but I was, I was bored and was just exploring all the different files we had. And I found videos uh, and, you know, I saw things that I think an 11 year old uh, wouldn't know how to really uh, conceptualize. Uh, but I just knew that there was something about it that was enticing. And, you know, I think about 11 year olds now and think about, man, I wish that there had been someone in my life that I could have just talked about what I just saw, what that meant, what feelings came up, and uh, how uh, intense it was, and how powerful it was, and uh, really how it started a lifelong uh, struggle with something. And really, when I kind of think about it, it's, you know, yeah, of course, because I was, I was a kid, you know, I, I, I wouldn't know any better. I wouldn't know what to do with that information. I wouldn't know how to process that because the things that I was seeing were not, it's not for children, right? I mean, if I was to do that as a child, that would be tantamount to abuse. And I think that's really what it is, is that for kids to, to see those things is just that, it's abuse. Um, but uh, I think at that point in my life, I would have probably hoped for someone who was older, someone who was wiser, someone who could come alongside me and explain to me what it was that I had found and the dangers therein. Um, I think it might have saved me, you know, a lot of grief, a lot of heartache, a lot of personal pain and struggle. And, you know, if anything, um, I just needed someone, I think, there to protect me. I didn't know that I needed that. Um, I think there's, I think there's a reality that life is hard and people go through difficult times and uh, never before I think in the history of man have we had easier access to something that is ultimately uh, a corrupting force and influence in our lives. And uh, something that subtle, but something that powerful needed the voice of someone mature and wise and uh, stronger to come alongside. For me, what it comes down to is that uh, there are healthy ways to deal with stress in your life and there are unhealthy ways. So like any kind of substance abuse, I think porn is just one of many ways that you can uh, cope with the world, cope with pain, cope with anything uh, like any other kind of drug. And so, and, but I think, but you know, I think everything comes at a cost. And so what is the cost of pornography? Well, I think at the end of the day, there's uh, a voice, an influence into the beauty and purity that I think comes with the gift of sex. Uh, but now all of a sudden there's other voices in your head and in your heart that you may not even realize are there that are essentially telling you how things should be when really behind the scenes, everyone who's involved in these things are, uh, they're, they're just as lost. There's no, there's no life in it, there's no truth in it. And, you know, personally for me, I think over the years what it's just become is just this lifelong uh, temptation because 
you know, as a kid, it was this amazing feeling, but not really understanding the detriment and consequence. And now as a man, it's, well, hey, there's this thing that I started when I was 11 that I still am wrestling with uh, to this day.